The next thing I was going to talk a little bit about was a scam that crops up quite a lot because people aren't very good at mathematics and that's something called the calculator scam. People use calculators all the time. Why? Because over a period of time people have stopped thinking about doing the mathematics, doing the arithmetic and they trust the calculator. Well it turns out that if you buy a very cheap, cheap calculators in the shop you can do the following with them. You can actually go in, go to the calculator, and you can actually take the front plate of a calculator off. Okay? And the inside is just a series of little switches that are pressed by the buttons on the front. And what you can do is you can swap the equals button for the memory recall button. Now, if you do that, what that means is that you enter whatever number you fancy into the calculator. And then when you press equals, it's actually just recalling what's been put into the memory. So it's very often used in situations where people, for example, are changing currency to, to go on holiday overseas. And they, it's difficult. You're having to multiply it by 1.6 or something like that. And what happens is that the person will put in a number that's close, but less than the actual value you should get, store that in the memory. Then they can quite openly show you that they're pressing the buttons and adding them together. And then when you press the equals button, they're just recovering the number that was hidden inside the computer memory. People accept what the calculator says, even if it's very wrong, people will still accept it because they saw somebody press the buttons on the calculator and money is made. So that kind of scamming, that kind of taking of an electronic device that we rely on and changing it round, switching the keys on there, is a way that you can make money from people who just aren't willing or able to sit down and actually do very simple bits of arithmetic, very simple bits of mathematics. So. Calculators are great and wonderful things, but just be aware that if someone's using a calculator, they might not necessarily be using a calculator in a fair and honest way. There are ways of being able to produce calculators that don't do quite what calculators ought to do. The next scam that I'm going to do requires eight volunteers from the audience. This, this particular uh, scam works in a rather clever way. I set myself up as being an expert in football, in being able to predict who's going to win the big match. And the way that I do that is that I get a list of people, I, I maybe get a list of email addresses even, and I send everybody a letter. So what we're going to do is going to send you a letter. So don't open it yet. So everyone gets a letter. or an email. Right. What we have here is we have a list of um, football games. So we've got Arsenal versus Bolton, Chelsea versus Derby, and Everton versus Fulham. Okay, so normally these games would be played um, and one person would win, but we don't have space to, to play the games. So um, can I ask somebody else just randomly to decide who's gonna win in the match? So somebody who, who would like to you, sir, for example, who, who's going to win the first match? Is it going to be Arsenal or Bolton? Arsenal. Arsenal, right. So, Arsenal are going to win, Bolton is a no-no. Next one, over there. Chelsea and Derby, who's going to win? Chelsea. Chelsea. And Everton v Fulham, you, sir? Everton. Okay, right, so there we are. These are the matches, these are the matches that were played. Okay, so we've got uh, Arsenal, Chelsea and Everton. So, can I ask you, sir, to have a look inside your envelope and tell me what I predicted? Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton. And all the rest of you, if you open theirs, you'll find that each and every single one of you has got a letter, but that letter has an entirely different prediction. None of you know one another. You have now had a letter from me saying Arsenal, Chelsea and Everton. I'm absolutely spot on correct. All the rest of you think I'm a charlatan because I got it wrong. Doesn't matter, I don't care about you. I come along and I say to you, excuse me, I'll now be able to tell you the next big game match score. I've already proved that I can do it. I got it absolutely right. I got the three of them absolutely correct. Give us a hundred quid and they'll tell you the next one. Now, you don't know about all of this. All that you know is that I have been completely right in my predictions, therefore, I have his confidence. Therefore, people will pay money. 
for that. And this scam actually does work. As long as you have enough people, and what you do is you send each and every single one of them a different prediction. And that prediction is based on all the probabilities of all the different outcomes of all the various games. And one of them will be correct. And for that person, even if you run this through to six, seven, eight, nine games, you can still get it right. You just mean to need to send it to a lot of different people to be sure that you get one of them correct. And this was actually run by Darren Brown a couple of years back uh, in a TV special called The System. And he used it to predict horse races. And it's extremely effective for the person who gets the, the, the winning sequence. It seems quite impossible because you're able to predict with 100% accuracy. And then the sting, the twist comes in when you come in at the end and you say, well, to get the next one, which of course I have absolutely no idea what the next one's going to be, you pay me the money and I'll disappear off with it and say thank you very much and goodbye. So in effect, what's happening with this particular scam is it's almost exactly an inverse of the pyramid scam. I picked the names because they're A, B, C, D, E and F, just to make it easy to remember. So A versus B, you send half of the, the, the notes have got team A winning and half of the notes have got team B winning, right? The next one, C versus D, half of the winning, half of the ones that you said A was going to win in have got C winning and half of them have got D winning. And similarly on the other side there, and then E versus F, you've got uh, all the other possibilities, you've got E winning there and you've got F winning there, you've got E winning there, you've got F winning there. So, for example, had A come out first, you've lost all of these people, they've completely vanished out of the system because your first prediction was wrong. The next one, if C ends up losing, you've lost all these people from it, but you've still got these people because they got A and D correct. And then finally, this person here, because the, uh, the other ones get that kind of knocked out, that one and that one get knocked out um, in there. You've got E left, so A, D and E is a win. So you've got an inverted pyramid. You started off with a lot of people and you end up with just a small number of them. And for the people who actually receive those letters where everything seems to fit and seems to be supported by my ability to talk a good game, talk about how good I am at, at, at predicting football, for those people it's extremely compelling that they are actually onto something where people are correctly able to identify what's going on in a football match. And this is run not just for football matches, but for stocks on the market, whether a stock will go up or whether a stock will go down. It's nothing whatsoever to do with your ability to remember or predict the stock going up or down. It's actually just to do with the fact that you send out a lot of these emails to people and they pick up on it. And what you do is you narrow it down, narrow it down. Each time there's a probability that you're going to lose a percentage of the people that you're in there. But so long as you have a few of them left at the end, they're going to be quite impressed. And this scam runs all the time. Like the pyramid scam, it keeps getting slightly reinvented, but it gets, this kind of scam runs a lot in the world. So now you know how the scam works. Hopefully you won't fall for it. Thank you.